those who are giving this year's attempt please skip this video this video is for those who are giving their exam in 2023 there is no official announcement regarding the date but we can expect prelims to be held anywhere between the month of may to the second week of june so we will plan according to this timeline suppose if prelims is to be held in the last week of may then we have around 14 months or 400 days in our hands starting from april 2022 till may 2023 we will divide these 14 months into three phases first phase is building strong foundation in the first 120 days that is in the month of april may june and july second phase is consolidation with the help of standard books in the next 180 days that is in the month of august september october november december 2022 january and february 2023 that is overall 6 months and 180 days third phase is in the last 90 days before prelims that is focus on prelims by doing revision and practicing mcqs and mocks that is in the month of march april and may 2023 after prelims there would be fourth phase which is focusing on mains let us discuss the first three in this video in the first phase which is from april to july 2022 and spans for 4 months we shall read all relevant ncerts of upsc it includes ncerts of politics geography art and culture society economics and old ncerts of history in the first phase we shall read these ncerts at least thrice now reading this ncert is thrice may seem impossible but this is not true if you manage your time efficiently and if you are focused you can do so the first reading takes time but the second reading is always faster while reading books first reading should be casual like you are reading a story book in second reading highlight important points in the third reading try to consolidate create mnemonics memory palace notes in margin and mind maps so you can recall that information whenever you want if you haven't decided your optional and if you are inclined towards humanities subject then wait finish ncerts and then decide your optional you can make well informed choices then and always remember not all the chapters of book are equally important some are more essential than others now how to know what is important and what is not it is simple analyze previous year's question paper and by heart the upsc main syllabus begin your preparation with by hearting the syllabus and analyzing previous year's question papers we shall keep them handy so we can refer to them every now and then this will help us to be exam oriented now how to plan your day divide your day into 3 to 4 slots each slot can span for 2 to 3 hours one to two slots for gs one slot for current affairs newspaper reading and one slot for the optional subject also read the newspaper daily from day 1 never skip the newspaper do never read it for more than 2 hours in a day you can follow any current affairs magazine but without reading newspapers magazines won't make any sense so read the newspaper every day and focus on editorials in the first 120 days we will finish all the important ncerts at least thrice then we shall give test based on ncerts you must test your preparation so it is advisable that you give ncert based test series and preferably at the end of each month give a test based on whatever you are reading in that month remember the test series is the best method of revision and to assess your knowledge so with all that being said let me introduce you to our 2023 membership course which now includes a test series i believe that you should make your own plan but if you want some idea on how to make a daily plan you can visit the website where i have made day to day plan for the month of april 2022 you can take ideas from that and make your own plan or you can enroll in pdf membership and test series program of india shastra where you will get daily weekly and monthly planners for prelims 2023 you will get revision notes which include mind maps charts doodles and so on and tests at the end of each month to check your preparation level at the end of 
that month. Not only this, this time we have included more standard books and NCRTs in our PDF membership program. This year we are compiling our PDF chapter wise in the new program and updating them to make them relevant for 2023 and minimizing complications that earlier members faced. So instead of downloading 150 odd PDFs for one subject, you will now download only 20 to 25 PDFs per subject. So please do check the website and help us with our aim of quality content delivery. Also share this with your friends. If you want to enjoy our services for free, you can always join our Instagram handle where we are planning to post daily targets for prelims 2023 for free. Also on the telegram handle, soon we would be posting daily current affairs for free. Although if you are following this plan, do check our 2023 course, it goes hand in hand with this plan and it is more cost effective than any other programs available on the internet. The link is given below in the description to website, planners, telegram and instagram. Now we have finished all NCRTs and given MCQ test based on NCRTs and the first 120 days are finished. Now we are ready to move on to the next phase starting from August 2022. The aim of this phase is consolidation with the help of standard books. Once you have built a strong foundation reading NCRTs, understanding standard books such as Lakshmikan, the spectrum would be a cakewalk for you. But remember these points before going forward. Number one, do not proceed further in this month without deciding your optional. Optional is essential. It carries 500 marks and it can make or break your attempt. Toppers usually score around 1000 marks out of grand total of 2025. And 30% of these marks are from optional. So you must aim for at least 300 marks in your optional. And to do that, dedicate 2-3 to three hours every day for your optional subject till you finished 2 readings of your optional. If you start your optional in this month, say in the next 6 to 7 months before February 2023, you can finish at least 2 readings of your optional. Remember, in the first month, I told you to divide your day into 3 to 4 slots. 1 to 2 slots for GS, 1 slot for newspaper and 1 slot for optional. So, dedicate 1 slot of 2 to 3 hours for your optional without fail for next 6 months. Remember, you have to finish at least 2 readings of your optional before February 2023. Number 2. Finish main specific subjects. Main specific subjects are subjects that are specific to mains and in prelims hardly any question is expected from these subjects. These subjects are Indian society, world history, international relations, social justice, ethics and integrity which carries 250 marks disaster and management and internal security. Try to finish these subjects as soon as possible in phase 2. Because once we go in prelims mode after February 2022, we do not get time for these subjects and they remain untouched even if we crack prelims and mains is just around the corner. So before the month of December 2022, try to finish at least one reading of these subjects. Dedicate an extra slot of one and half hours or use the already existing slot of GS for this main specific subject for the next three to four months till December 2022. Number three, ethics and essays. Ethics and essays are often neglected parts and they carry 500 marks in mains examination. You will find toppers generally get similar marks in GS 1, 2 and 3 but their marks in essays, ethics and optional separate them from the rest. This decides whether you will become an IS officer or get into other services or prepare for the next attempt. So practice case studies, solve the mains question on Sundays and practice essays on every alternative Sunday in the month of October, November, December, January and February. You can use previous year's mains essay and ethics question paper Solve them in real time and get them checked by your mentor, senior, teacher or anyone else. If nothing worked, use an amazing facility of peer review or self-analysis. 
So to sum it up, in the second phase, starting from August 2022 to February 2023, we will read standard books such as Lakshmi Kant, Spectrum, G. C. Leong, and any standard material for the economy, a lexicon for ethics, etc. At least thrice. Second, in this phase, you will finish main specific subjects. Third, in this phase, we shall also finish at least two readings of your optional. Finally, you will practice case studies, solve the mains question on Sundays, and practice essays on every alternative Sunday. Now, let us move to the third phase. That is, in the month of March, April, and May, your total focus will be on prelims. From this month onwards. Go all in for prelims examination. Only if you crack prelims, you will get a chance to write mains. So focus on prelims. Revise whatever you have read till now. Practice MCQs and mocks. Solve mocks in real time and analyze your mistakes. Work on your weaknesses and consolidate your strengths. Give the mocks in real time with stopwatch on. After this, a series of videos will follow on strategy for prelims and mains of 2023. I tried providing full-fledged quality content of general studies lessons, but your response was mild. And based on your response, we have concluded that you need our help in planning and strategizing your preparation and in mentoring. So we have decided that we will make what you want. So the content from here onwards will mainly be focused on planning and strategizing your preparation and book reviews. what books to read and how to read them like that in between we shall make a video on geopolitical economical and political issues that are in the news if you have any thoughts on this please comment below we would highly appreciate that also do let me know in the comment section on which topic you need us to make a video we will try to make a video on the comment which gets the most likes Also do check our test series and PDF membership program which is available on the website it is relatively cost effective than other platforms and goes hand in hand with this timetable so you know what you are getting you can find the link in the description thank you have a good day and as always thanks for watching